Watch for his shadow. Listen for the heels of his boots. He is here, I tell you. I will comb her hair again in the evening. And another time on the following night. Then on I'll the third, watch for our enemies. I'll put a needle to her throat. <clears throat> you all sound so lovely. <sighs> One of my dear. Good enough for me. <laughs> ah, that's quite a lovely bone charm. Okay, now to start checking these windows. Shed, huh? Is that here? Guess so. There was a second one. <laughs> Had no idea. Ah, looks like we've got a new one down here, too. Well, I should probably heal up. Huh, oh, choke dust. really been making too much good use of choke dust, but at some point. That's okay, game. I don't need to use that right now. I've got other ways of healing. care of the last one in the terrarium here. <coughs> if you're going to keep respawning, I'm going to keep being cheap. <laughs> Okay, I still haven't really seen where this bone charm might be. I'm guessing it's in some kind of window. Just don't quite know where. Get this off real quick. No, thank you. Alright. There in front of me. Huh. Oh, hey. Why 
Why do you obsess about that butler and his tramp? He drowned thinking of his love. He was a thief. He drowned thinking of what Lord Brigmore would do if he was caught. I like to imagine he was more devoted than that. He's still there, you know, rotting in the water. Why don't you go and give him a kiss? There's not much left of his face, but you can always imagine there's more. Why do you ruin everything? <laughs> she sounds real nice. Vengeance, huh? What is vengeance? Benefit. Build up adrenaline much faster. Penalty. Adrenaline takes less time to cool down. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not anything I would ever use. Let's read about the Spirit of the Deep. Excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Spirit of the Deep, Siren of the Dreams. I walked for hours along the coast, leaving Dunwall behind me until the lament of the, we uh, the waves drowned all other feeling. I wept, knowing you would not come to me, my love. You rule my dreams, where I behold with senses I do not possess. In waking life, the dark splendor of your home in the deep, there the ocean rests on the back, or on your back, like a sleeping child on his father's shoulders. In these sleepless nights of despair, you appear to me not as the mighty Leviathan, but as a young man with eyes as black as the void. Must be talking about our lovely <laughs> void friend that we always see at the void shrines goes by the name of the outsider or leviathan apparently all right so we've got a couple of witches outside here um if i could see them okay does lady delilah favor me do you think has she mentioned me please i'm sick of hearing about it Well, here, I'll help. You won't have to hear about it again. At least for a while. Hmm. Certainly interesting. I don't really think you can get up to this side. So I guess they're supposed to be staring down here to uh, keep the area safe. You would think that they would have seen me when I was up on top of here, but apparently not. Okay, well, I think that about does it for what we're gonna find out here. I think it's time to get inside, and I'm not going to take the front door. Because as a thief slash assassin, I know that the front door, while fun to take, to be bold and an asshole to whoever lives there, is usually not a good idea. Suppose if I was going in guns blazing to kill everyone, then the front door would be fine, but I'm not doing that. You gonna say anything this time? No? Okay. Time for me to get indoors. Looks like he's on his back. I can't tell what's going on there. And I thought the flooded district was run down. Oh. 
Gotta be careful. This is apparently not the best of locations. Out of curiosity... But out of curiosity, would this do any damage to you? Yeah, it would. Where did she go? I don't know. I'm a little worried to go out into this room and have someone warp in on me. Sir. Well, I found an explosive bolt, but uh, I don't need it. Last wing key, huh? Hmm. Well, she's behind the wall there, so. As long as I take care, hopefully she won't warp in on me. Now that looks an awful lot like uh, the thing that we put in for the ship. Oh, two people. The air is pristine. I wish you could have seen the brilliant colors. The brushwork is magnificent. Our lady is a genius. Tipsh's portrait was only the beginning. A vague mesmerism. But with Emily, Delilah will extinguish the girl's spirit and inhabit her completely. Own her skin and bones. Make her pretty teeth smile. What will happen if Emily doesn't become Empress? Half the city thinks she's dead. Emily Caldwin will take the throne, don't worry. Delilah is certain. She sees things in the void you and I do not. Why didn't she just paint the Lord Regent? He's already running the Empire. She has her reasons. Delilah was raised in Dunwall Tower, don't forget. And besides, the Lord Regent doesn't have a chance. Without the Boyle sisters behind him paying the army, he's a walking corpse. to be very careful around here. Not only is it an awkward landscape to navigate, but uh, witches could be warping in on me at any moment. to the ones that were talking? I think so. work out the way I was hoping it would. But, uh, I don't really care. 
I've ordered the lantern to be placed in my studio in the west wing. Use it to enter the painting only if your situation is dire. I will be busy preparing for the ritual and cannot be disturbed. I trust you can handle Dowd should he materialize. Delilah. Interesting. So I suppose we are going to enter a painting to do battle with Delilah. Okay. She just randomly left and now she's down there. This randomness is a bit of a pain. So you must be the guy that was sitting on the floor. Scavenger, eh? That sounds familiar. Find ammo in greater amounts. I don't care at all. Overseer's interrogation. I was unable to extract much from this one. He was well trained. Feeding him his former companion elicited mostly useless sounds and mess. I'll try again tomorrow unless he becomes violently deranged. In which case, I'll have little choice but to put him down. A stun mine, eh? You know, that might be worth putting one down. About there-ish. Overseer's orders. Brother Pradcliffe, you are charged with surveillance of the Mutter uh, Mutcher Haven, I guess? Mutcher Haven? I don't know. Um, district and surrounding estates. Travel there immediately and report all findings to the office of the High Overseer. If any signs of organized heresy are uncovered, send for additional support. Do not attempt to handle the situation alone. Remember the strictures, and you will not fail. Overseer Cranton. This must be the guy that's supposed to uh, have the strictures given to him. Warning on Corrupted Charms. Didn't we already get this? No, I guess it's a new one. Excerpt from an Overseer's report on the black market occult artifacts. Vice Overseer Melios. While traveling to Circanos, which is, of course, within your purview, I came across a matter that demands your attention. My brothers and I were using the Overland route for Calero to Karnaca, escorting two of our sisters from the Oracular Order, as you requested months ago. My apologies for the delay, High Overseer Campbell is a busy man, as I'm sure you understand, and sometimes such deployments fall to the wayside as his mind is devoted to some immediate concern of higher import in our struggle against the outsider. Halfway to Karnaka, our caravan stopped in a lakeside town where we learned that a man had been recently murdered. Initially, this was no cause for our involvement until we heard about some of the things found in his keeping. Red wax candles that we suspect were mixed with ox blood clippings of hair and a painting that hung over his kitchen table depicting a small girl girl child? Okay. Uh, carrying two dried leaves. I need not tell a man of your wisdom that these things were of concern, but other clues <clears throat> confiscated at the site were far more serious.